Hi all, these are my angels. Elder one is Nilani, meaning moon, and the younger one is Nachitra, meaning star. Today let's see a vlog on a day with my toddler. It's 7.30 in the morning, the baby is still sleeping and the lunch is almost ready. This is baby spinach dal curry. Uncooked rice is in the cooker, I'll switch on later. My hubby has just washed and marinated the fish pieces and this goes into the fridge now until I broil it later. She woke up at 8 o'clock. Just after brushing, her first food is soaked raisins. This improves the iron level in the blood and also eases the stool to avoid constipation issues. I take each raisin and press with finger to change the shape to avoid any choking. And here is my 16 month old toddler grinning with two lower rabbit teeth. She too presses it just to imitate me. When she is not locked in her dining chair, she keeps changing locations just like this. After eating ricins, she plays for some time under the supervision of her dad as he starts his work at 9. Nilani is locked inside her room for her online classes. Her meeting starts at 8.15 am. She will come out during her breaks. And now I am making multigrains porridge for baby's breakfast. She loves to eat her food on her own. And yes, there will be a big mess. But the washable bib on the dining table makes the cleaning easier. She loves to drink her porridge. After her breakfast, she'll play for some time with her toys and that's when I'll have my breakfast. Just given her a bath. Whenever she wants breast milk, she lies in her feeding pillow with her soothing towel. And now it's our play time. I want hot rice for lunch and so I cook it around 10.30 and mata rice takes little longer time to cook. A short snack time, I am just giving half of homemade whole wheat butter biscuit. Few sips of water. Time for dress change. Every single time after her dress change, she dutifully drops her dress in her laundry bag. I'm washing sesame seeds. I'll do this in bulk whenever I get a pack. Baby was little clingy and so have given her kitchen utensils. This will keep her occupied for some time. She loves my idli pot, instant pot and pressure cooker. Most of the babies will love vessels more than their toys. Washed and the seeds are ready to dry. Baby is still playing with the vessels and the bangle now. But that's it. Here she goes crazy in 1, 2 and 3. I have lifted her in one hand and doing this in the other hand. The oven is being preheated in high broil mode. 
I'll first broil this for 15 minutes, then turn sides and broil again for 10 more minutes. I have left the baby far behind when opening this. Let this broil. She plays for some time with my stock box. These things fascinate them more than their toys. Fish is grilled and ready. Grilled fish will be softer than the fried ones. My hubby comes 10 minutes before lunch time. She plays with him when I plate food for both the kids. The starch is drained and the rice is hot. I give her the same mutta rice that we eat. I use a small broad spoon to mash the rice. Adding some homemade ghee to the hot rice. Rice is mashed well with a spoon. Baby eats from the family pot. You can check out my one year baby food chart to see how this transition happened very gradually. After adding the gravy, do not mash with spoon as mashed mustard might be bitter. So just mix well with fingers. I still give her rice in bowl. As she eats it on her own, it will be easy for her to eat with spoon with little mess. I check well for the bones and keep some fish on top of the rice just as bait. I don't give her the skin as it is chewy. I sit near her when she eats. So rest of the fish I will give her incrementally as she eats. It also saves my time. Both the kids' food are readily plated. Nila will be out for lunch now. She loves fish. She will finish the fish first before tasting the rice. And as I said, I will incrementally offer her the rest of the fish. Towards the end, when she starts to play with the food, I'll feed her. But I won't force. I'll stop if she says no or shows signs of disinterest. Few sips of water. And again, dress change. She plays for some time in her toy kitchen when I have my lunch. The next feeding time and now she will sleep as I feed. Once she sleeps, I will gently shift her to the cradle. If she gets in between, it will be easy for me to rock her back to sleep. She will sleep for at least 2 hours and I don't nap in the afternoon. For the first one hour, I will do my pending household chores. I am frying the dried sesame seeds. I will let it cool down completely. Once cooled, I will transfer it to airtight container and use whenever required. I will just wash the vessels that are required in the evening. Brooming and some quick kitchen cleanups. And finally, clearing up the laundry. And the next one hour is the most awaited me time. This is when I work for my YouTube channels and my website. Baby woke up. I have just breastfed her. She will relax for some time post nap with her soothing towel in her feeding pillow. The sisters will play for some time and this is when I will do my exercise. Mm -hmm. yeah. Evening snack time. I prefer at least one snack to be just fruits and today it's blueberry. To avoid choking, I'm just pressing each berry with my finger to change its shape. I could hear you mommies. Don't worry, I'll make a separate video on baby lead weaning.
After every meal or snack, I'll wash her hands and mouth and she'll never forget to pick her towel to wipe her hands and mouth. 5 to 6 is Nila's learning time with me. We mainly learn Tamil, Hindi and Maths. Before we start, Nila reads baby books with her little sister for 10 minutes. When I teach Nila's lessons, baby too sits near me with her baby books and it is easy to manage her parallelly with books. In between, we take a 5 minutes break when baby demands breastfeeding. 6 to 7, I make dinner and both girls play with their dad. As it is winter here, we ought to stay indoors. Sharp 7 is our dinner time. Today it's idli with mint coriander chutney. I'll give idli pieces incrementally as she demands. Few sips of water. The kids are bringing the clothes from the dryer for me to fold the clothes. Around 8 o'clock, she becomes inactive and lies down somewhere to alert us it's time to wrap up for the day. Kids are cleaning up their toys. When they are busy with their cleanups, I soak the stuffs for the next day. I have soaked almonds, clouse water for baby to gargle after brushing, Raisins, matta rice and some black chickpeas for tomorrow's curry. My hubby has already loaded the vessels in the dishwasher. She loves to drink water from her sister's bottle. Brushing time. She gets so excited to brush. <laughs> She is waiting for her turn. She is ready in her nightdress. She helps in making the bed. She never forgets to get my alarm clock. Yes, it's a digital alarm. Cell phones are not allowed inside my bedroom. Few minutes of play, hugs and kisses. And that's it. She'll doze off as I feed. Baby is asleep. And I too sleep with the baby as my day starts early. Hope you all had a good time with us. Good night. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.